Hey guys, so today back with your girl Faith and today's video, um, as you can see, there is like a new setup. I have it more in front of my bed now instead of off to the side. So yeah. For today's video, I will be filming a what to do on Christmas Eve video because I know usually some people, yeah, they go to their grandparents' house or whatever, but there's still the morning time. When you wake up, you don't know what to do besides getting ready. And if you don't go to like a grandparent's house or a friend's house or do anything special, then this video is definitely for you to pass time to whenever you're going to start baking cookies or whatever at night and leaving things out for Santa and the reindeer. So yeah, but anywho, let's just get into the video. Tip numero uno for what to do is play board games. That's what they are for, guys. Passing time, especially if you have some siblings, you can definitely just ask them to play with you and just play some really cool board games. Some that I recommend, like, that really do pass time are Monopoly, um, Headbands. That's a game that you just won't want to put down. Or Heads Up. That one is so, so fun. Um, Pie in the Face is a really, really fun game. And if you have a Wii or an Xbox or something, you can play Just Dance if you have it. Like, it's such a fun game, time consuming, and you just, you're probably not even going to look at the clock as you play it. Because it's just going to be so much fun and you continue to dance. And it's just, it's an amazing game, guys. Like, no joke. Watch Christmas movies! Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite things to do on Christmas Eve since I mostly don't do like fun things until um, towards like 6.30, like towards nighttime. So in my mornings I watch a bunch of Christmas movies and some of my favorites are definitely Elf, Home Alone, Drake and Josh Christmas, um, The Spongebob Christmas, the, both of the different movies and then both of the Full House Christmases because Full House is life and I cannot wait for Fuller House that's coming out February 27th I think so I am so so excited for that but yeah so definitely just spend your time on Netflix watching Christmas movies or if you have DVDs watch those just do anything that involves watching Christmas movies it's also a classic is baking some treats Baking treats on Christmas Eve is literally my thing. I eat those treats while I'm watching my Christmas movies, but even if it means just making hot cocoa and eating cookies or whatever, even if it just means making cookies, like, it's perfect. Like, it's just so fun. I mean, like, I have so much fun baking cookies, guys. Like, especially if you're doing it with family, it is so much better because then, like, you guys get the dough on your faces or the flour and just eggs and just everybody's working together and it's just so fun-filled and it's just, I don't know, this is just the really best time of the year because it's mostly spent with family. So, yeah, but, um, anyway, yeah, so baking Christmas treats is so much fun on Christmas Eve. It is definitely, again, time-consuming, so it passes a bunch of time, and, but you're still having fun while doing it, and that's really what counts, so. Next thing is for those YouTube lovers that just love to be on YouTube all day, watch a bunch of last year's Christmas hauls and Christmas Eve vlogs and Black Friday hauls and stuff like that. That's literally, that's also one of my favorite things to do is li just watch a bunch of Christmas videos. Like, um, I usually go back to my Christmas vlogs, my vlogmas, and I rewatch all of my vlogmas videos and stuff like that and just throw back on some Christmas hauls, guys. Like, it's not even hard at all. You can just look up anybody's Christmas hauls from, um, I think, yeah, I think it was Christmas Hall 2014, so you guys can watch a bunch of those and watch a bunch of Black Friday hauls, because those have to pretty much do with Christmas too, and I love hauls, so yeah, but, um, and then you can watch a bunch of, like, Christmas Eve vlogs from last year too, and I don't know, it just makes you feel like you're there with them, and you're just enjoying that time, I don't know. Next, I forgot to tell you guys what candle I'm burning today. Today I'm burning Spiced Apple Toddy. And yeah, and also there are, I'm on number five, I think, of ideas. There's, there's going to be ten, so I have about five more ideas left. 
But anyway, the next thing I recommend doing is literally so fun to do. I, it's a tradition for me to do this every year because I have a channel that does it. Is track Santa Claus, and you can see where he's going um, during throughout the night, and you can see where he's stopping and everything. And I think it's called like Santa Tracker or something. There's a channel, and you go on it, and it has a bunch of fun games. It has like a naughty or nice quiz and stuff. I do it every year, you guys. It's my favorite channel, and then they also have the countdown. So, yeah, and they have like little mini news reports on um, where he is and how he's doing and how the reindeer are and stuff like that. So, especially if you have little ones or your little sister or something, then definitely doing that with them is so amazing. It's just, I'm so glad that somebody invented that because it's, it's so cool to watch. <laughs> Six is another Christmas little tradition thingy is listening to Christmas music and just singing along. It's so much fun. It's literally, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun to listen to a bunch of Christmas music and there's thousands of songs out there and you can just have like a little mini dance party, you know? It's just Number seven is to drive around looking at like Christmas lights. Like go to Candy Cane Lane or we have that. I think other cities or towns or areas have that too where there's like a place called Candy Cane Lane or some type of light show I'm pretty sure there is one where you live maybe maybe not but um, definitely if you do have one go to it it's so fun to look at the Christmas lights and usually there's like a Santa walking around that has a bucket and you can donate to a charity so yeah, I just did the full on action, I was like, <laughs> but yeah, so you can definitely go to a light show. It's just really pretty and it's so amazing to see how much time people spend just, just prepare for Christmas and to just like make other families happy because I know it makes my family happy when we drive through our candy cane lane and it's just amazing to see all the lights and just all the work and effort put in to for other people to see not even for their needs for other people to love and enjoy so it's pretty cool number eight is to tell some Christmas stories uh, there are lots of myths out there or you can tell the famous Christmas poem, The Night Before Christmas. And I love to recite this poem to my family on Christmas Eve because I mem I've memorized it since third grade because we had to. But I still enjoy doing it so much and I usually play like a song on my violin for them um, that has to do with Christmas. Sorry if you hear voices, it's my dad. But yeah, so you can definitely um, recite some really cool Christmas stories. Number nine is have a pajama party. Have your family or whoever you're with get all dressed up and snuggly in your Christmas pajamas and have a, and have a really, really fun pajama party. And you can literally just dump it, bounce around in your PJs and listen to music and just dance the whole night. No shame. Last but not least, Wish Louie Thompson a happy, happy birthday. One Direction is life, guys. Yes, yes, it is Louie's birthday on Christmas Eve. So that is the last thing that you need to do, is you need to wish him a happy birthday. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I love you all so, so much, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Sure.